If you're a lover of quality, lover of photography, just like I am, the latest F11 Pro is the phone for you. It is everything that you require. It's got a sleek look. I'm looking at it right now. And uh, the camera is amazing. So today we join Joseph Adiola, the public relations manager of OPPO, to dig into this wonderful piece of technology. Join me. The F11 Pro, we like to call it the DSLR smartphone. So what it does basically is it shoots amazing portraits, even in low light conditions, and it shoots like a professional camera. I am Joseph Adela, Public Relations Manager for Open Nigeria, and you're watching Business Day Tech Bridge. First of all, it's equipped with a 48 plus 5 megapixel camera and also has the unique rising camera, as you can see, that just pops up and goes back in. Works with artificial intelligence, AI. So generally, you're going to, you're going to be forced to ask, what's different, another, ca smartphone ca another camera smartphone? Or what makes this unique? So I don't want to talk about specs, generally. I just want to say how it solves your problem as the regular Nigerian, the regular day-to-day -day user. So first things first is that this phone enables you to have control over your pictures, right? We have various shooting modes on the phone. We have uh, the night mode, which is used to shoot in dark conditions. And we also have the panoramic mode, which you all know what that does. And then we have the expert mode, which is the most interesting feature for me. Because with the expert mode, you can actually control the exposure before you shoot. The most interesting feature for me on this phone, I think there are about three. First is this camera, because this camera is super sharp. Then the next is the battery. It has a 4,000 mAh battery. And unlike any other thing I've seen, the battery, the battery retains charges, right? And interestingly, it also has the VOC 3.0 fast charge that charges super fast, right? So it charges at least 20 minutes faster than the regular, the regular char charging technology. And for me, the, the, the phone retains charges and then charges fast. So I can go two days without, from my experience on this phone, I'm not talking about the data we are giving to you. I'm saying from my personal experience, I'm a heavy user and I, I use this phone for about two days before I have to charge it. Right? And I use internet, I stream, I do all of that. So those are interesting features for me. And there's also something called the Hyper Boost on the phone, which helps uh, minimize your operation. So when you're working on a particular app, it shuts down the other apps in the background. So that doesn't have to consume your battery. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more of an infusion of hardware and software technology. And that's why this phone is pretty amazing, especially at its price point. Okay, first of all, this is the Thunder Black color, right? So we use the gradient design for this phone. And uh, you see it graduates from like lilac to black to purple to blue. That's what it looks like. So depending on the lights, depending on how the lights hit it, it gives you a different color every time you look at it. Then we also have another one, which is in here right now, is the Aurora Blue, right? That one looks like blue and then it looks like green, depending on how you look at it. So we've been trying our hands on gradient design and we've been pioneering that. And we see that people are beginning to follow and enjoy the gradient design. So that is about the colors that we have for the F11 Pro. Then for the cameras, you have the primary camera, which is 48 megapixel. Then you have the secondary camera, which is 5 megapixel. Then you have the flash, right? So that's, they, are, they are lined up in that particular order. And so what the primary camera does is that's the 48 megapixel camera that actually shoots in that high res. Then the secondary camera is, is a support camera, especially when you want to shoot in the night mode. It's, the night mode takes the picture in five seconds, right? So it traps the lights for five seconds and exposes it to the camera once the, uh, the primary camera works. So that's how we're able to use that technology to arrive at such a high resolution picture, which you can print on, which you can do in a large print. Also in terms of AI and HDR photography, we've also been able to lead in that. Before now, people knew us as selfie experts, but now we're also showing the world what we can do because the trend is also moving from selfies to portraits, 
right? We're also showing the world that this is how we can take the lead when it comes to portraits. So regardless of the trend, of the patterns, consumer behavior, we are taking the lead in that. So uh, that's, that's something I also think. Then also, before I forget, we have the fast charging technology, the VOC charge, right? So VOC charge, for, which is unarguably the fastest charging technology in the world. So we have, we have the Super VOC, actually, which is the fastest charging. Then the next fastest charging, which is the VOC charge, also belongs to us. So you, you can understand what we're trying to do. And the system is very simple. Other charging technologies use uh, high voltage charging, which sometimes leads to explosions, overheating, fires, and all of that. But we use trickle charging system, low voltage. And um, by charging in, um, in trickles, your battery, gets to, your, your battery gets filled up fast and also no record of fires, of explosions, or any of that. So those are some areas in which we are also taking the lead. Mm -hmm.